Yeah, things are still a mess in the Midway District after the water hydrant break swallowed that traffic signal and flooded the busy road. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt in for Lindsay Pena. This is breaking news that we first brought you live on 10 News at 4 o'clock. The break was reported on Midway Drive between Sports Arena Boulevard and Kemper Street. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is joining us now with the breaking details. A mess out there, Anthony. That's right, it is still a mess out here. Water crews are on scene, but you can see that the water is still running right now. They are working to get this turned off. They're about a block away from here. They're trying to find the valve to turn off this water here that is just spouting out of the sinkhole. It's already been swallowing up this street light here. We've watched it slowly start to sink deeper and deeper into that water hole there in the past two hours. This water has been running for about two hours now. It's really impacted businesses in this area. Uh, there's a Wendy's in this area as well as an Arby's, a used car lot that we've spoken with. They said that this is normally a very busy road, but you can see right now it is empty here because they have road closures in place because of this water main break or this hydrant break rather. I also had a chance to speak to a, a witness earlier who was right there as they watched that light pole start to come down. Here's what they said. Uh, I didn't make any sound at all. I noticed all, all of our trucks were parked right here where we're standing. And so I had to move all the trucks out of the way and then the light pole just fell down. Yeah, kind of a slow, slow fall. And again, officials say no injuries at this point. Uh, no injuries reported from this water main break. They are, or this hydrant break. They are working to get the water shut off in this area and we will keep you up to date. We'll continue to follow the situation here. We're reporting live in Midway, Anthony Perra, 10 News. Anthony, thank you.